I'm going to try to keep this video like before where I'm trying not to scream and yell and bang on stuff and try to talk like an adult here and not throw a temper tantrum and scream out curse words left and right because that really, as funny as it is to some of you out there, it's not very mature. I want to try to talk in this video uh, very maturely. Uh, so anyways, let's get to the point here. So as you know, and if those of you who don't know, Vic Manana, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Thank you everybody in the comment section of my last video for uh, helping me learn how to say his name properly. Hopefully, I, hopefully I've said it, uh, his last name properly. Uh, he was recently kicked from Funimation. He was kicked from Rooster Teeth on his uh, part in Ruby. And he was accused of being homophobic because he refused to sign a Yaoi picture. If you don't know what Yaoi is, just do a quick Google search. Um, the reason he didn't want to do it is because he said it was not canon, or at the very least, that's the excuse people have around the internet have been circulating, and I can uh, understand that, you know, and, and it's his right to not want to sign something like that. And so many people have come out and accused him of sexual assault with zero shreds of proof at all. Nothing, I, I gave this last video a couple days just to sit and, and see if maybe somebody on Twitter or somebody in the comment section would throw some proof my way and prove me wrong but I mean this this whole story itself everything around this is over a week old and yet we have yet to see any proof the only thing that people try to do is either they try to make a fake uh, edited photo of him uh, from this closed Facebook group you gotta look that up by the way that is pure insanity right there or they try to take photos of him hugging fans and use that as proof of him sexually assaulting people when the people in the photos have come out more than once, mind you, multiple times. It's all over Twitter. You can you just type in I stand with Vic and just see just post after post of people coming out and saying, hey, here's a photo of me at insert con here. I met him. I hugged him. He didn't sexually assault me. And it's just all the evidence for Vic, you know, proving that he did nothing wrong. is just mountains ahead of the so-called proof proving that he sexually assaulted anybody and yet after all this evidence proving he did nothing wrong he has never sexually assaulted anybody everybody who's ever taken a photo or video with him you know getting a hug from him they've come out and said he's, he's not this person all this support from his fans and and just people in general yet after everything this poor man has lost his career. He's lost it with Funimation, and he's lost it with Ruby, two of the biggest things that I can almost guarantee has given this man a lot of work and a lot of money. And that sickens me. It sickens me to my core because this isn't just about Vic Manana. It's about every man, and I say man because not a goddamn woman on this planet has ever experienced what this man is going through right now. So many men are being put through the ringer over false allegations because I, some woman didn't like the way that a date went, or a woman didn't like how he got a promotion at work instead of her. And really, the whole Monica thing, where now she's working at Ruby, or at Rooster Teeth, I should say, and is taking the position that he had, that's just way too much of a coincidence. You know what I mean? Like, there, there's no way in hell she didn't orchestrate this false allegations against him to not take his position at Rooster Teeth. There's just no way, man. It's there's, it's too close together. And this whole situation, you know, I, I've taken the last couple of days to really dig deep into this and, and, and read other stories of other men who have been falsely accused of something and nothing happens to the accusers and they lose their career. Sometimes they're put behind bars. It is the, one of the most depressing things on the planet. Like, th this is pure insanity. I don't know how anybody could ever look at this and be like, yes, this is perfectly acceptable. I see nothing wrong with this. As I stated in my previous video, anybody who supports the kick Vic thing, you know, without doing any proper research, you sicken me. There's something wrong in your head. Like, 
I already know that mental illness, at least over here in the Western world, is completely out of control, but I, I still had a shred of hope that within the last week, within the last couple days, within the last couple days of me making that video, that justice would have prevailed. If, if, there's any, if there's any kind of, like, silver lining to this is that Vic has lawyered up, so hopefully, you know, if he does take these people to court one day, He'll get them convicted of all the slander that they've thrown at him. And hopefully he saved up a lot of money from all the years of work that he's put in. And another company can come out, bring him in, and give him some proper work and pay him properly. Because this man did not deserve to lose his job. A job that he's had for almost 20 years now, I think. In fact, probably over 20 years. It it sickens me and it should sicken every man out there it should sicken you women too I'll put everybody in here but it should mostly sicken everybody the way that we as a society act these days you know we in, instead of acting like adults we go on Twitter instead of the you know police you know the people who would actually be able to get proper evidence you know put together and convict this man no you go on Twitter insert amount of years or months after supposedly you've been sexually harassed and when somebody makes it big that's when you come out and you you throw all these allegations at people it just it makes me sick man it disgusts me anyway so uh, i just wanted to put some more thoughts on this and and wrap up everything i didn't say in the previous video hopefully um you guys enjoy this one too um it doesn't really matter but anyways I i'm rambling uh, i'm gonna cut the video here uh, thank you for all the support, by the way, from, from the previous video, all the subscribers, Twitter followers, whatever. I, I do appreciate that. I never meant for that video to even get 500 views, much less a couple thousand, but I, I appreciate it. Anyway, so guys, uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. This is Super Snow. I'll see you later. Have a nice day.